Hello guys! So, uh, in our previous video, diniscuss natin kung ano ang BSIS curriculum. This time, i-discuss naman natin ang BS Computer Science curriculum about the outcomes, subjects, uh, yung mga job roles niya, and uh, the description itself ng uh, course na ito. So, uh, please watch this video, but before we start, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to TechCourse page. So, please watch this video. So next is, uh, let us discuss the description of uh, the BSCS course according to the guidelines ng uh, CHED. So ang sabi sa CHED, the BS Computer Science Program includes the study of computing concepts and theories, algorithmic foundations, and new developments in computing. The program prepares students to design and create algorithmically complex software and develop new and effective algorithms for solving computing problems. So, yung program na ito, nag includes din ng mga standards and practices sa software engineering. And uh, piniprepare nito yung mga students na magkaroon ng skills and uh, disciplines requiring sa designing, writing, and modifying software components, modules, and application that comprises ng uh, isang software application or ng isang software solution. Now, let's discuss yung mga primary and secondary job roles ng isang BSCS uh, students or graduate. So, kapag nakatapos kayo ng uh, course na ito, ito yung mga pwede natin puntahan. So, yung primary job roles is or are software engineer, system software developer, research and development computing professional, application software developer, computer programmer. Yung secondary job roles naman na uh, list natin ay uh, system analyst, data analyst, quality assurance specialist, and software support specialist. Next naman is yung graduate outcome. So, kapag nakatapos tayo ng course na ito, ito yung ini-expect na attribute or characteristic natin na kung saan tayo ay uh, na-develop. First is knowledge for solving computing problems, problem analysis, design, development of solutions, modern tool usage, individual and teamwork, communication, computing professionalism and ethics in the society, and lifelong learning. Next is yung mga specific program or topics na involved sa computer science na course. So, ito yung mga areas na mapapag-aralan natin pag tayo ay nag-take ng BSES. First is algorithms and complexities, architecture and organization, discrete structures, Human-Computer Interaction, Information Assurance and Security, Network and Communications, Operating Systems, Programming Language in Terms of Designing and Implementing, Software Development Fundamentals, and uh, Software Engineering, and lastly, Social Issues and Professional Practice. Next naman is yung isa sa mga primary requirement ng course ng BSCS. Uh, so, kung sa BSIS, ang uh, isa sa mga requirement nila is makagawa sila ng capstone project. Sa computer science naman, ang requirement dito ay makagawa ka ng thesis. Okay? So, ang uh, thesis is a uh, katulad ng uh, parang sa BSIS, this is a terminal project na ia-apply ninyo yung comprehensive knowledge na natutunan ninyo sa area ng inyong specialization habang tinik nyo yung 4-year course ninyo, dito nyo na siya ia-apply. And uh, this will allow you to apply the concept and methods dun nga sa specific subject or specific course or specialization ninyo, which is the computer science. Ang uh, thesis, ang sabi dun sa guidelines, ng uh, CHED, this is, is a technical report on a systematic investigation of a problem that can be solved using computing. 
it may include a solution, an approximate or partial solution, a scientific investigation, or the development or result leading to the solution of a problem. So, sa BSCS, students required sila na makagawa ng isang thesis na magpo-focus sa theories and concept ng computing in the form of scientific work. Next is yung mga list ng mga professional and elective subjects na itatake natin kapag tayo ay kumuha ng computer science. So, sa mga professional subjects, ito yung list. Introduction to Computing, Fundamentals of Programming, Intermediate Programming, Data Structures and Algorithms, Information Management, Applications Development and Emerging Technologies, Discrete Structure 1, Discrete Structure 2, Object-Oriented Programming, Algorithms and Complexity, Automata Theory and Formal Languages, Architecture and uh, Organization. We also have Information Assurance and Security, Human-Computer Interaction, Networks and Communications, Operating System, Programming Languages, Practicum, Software Engineering 1, Software Engineering 2, Social Issues and Professional Practice, Computer Science Thesis Writing 1, and Computer Science Thesis Writing 2. Next is yung mga elective subjects naman. So, ito ay kung ano yung mga gusto mong piliin. Depende sa hilig mo, okay? Uh, sa list ng mga elective subjects ng computer science, ito yung mga computational science. We also have graphics and visual computing, parallel and distributed computing, intelligent system, and system fundamentals. So, sana nakatulong kami na ma-explain sa inyo kung ano ang difference or description, outcomes, job roles, at saka yung mga list ng subjects under ng computer science. At sana makatulong ito sa inyo para makapag-decide kayo kung ano ba talaga ang kukuhanin ninyo pag kayo ay magka-college na, especially sa mga senior high school na subscribers natin ngayon. Okay? So, once again, thank you so much. So, don't forget to uh, like, share, and comment. Uh, to this video and please don't forget to subscribe to TechCourse PH and uh, sana safe uh, kayo habang tayo ay nasa ganitong season ng pandemic and uh, once again maraming salamat goodbye for now